So guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Millie. If you're a returning subscriber, hey, it's been snowing here like crazy, a lot, a lot of snow. But today I'm home and I'm sick. I guess you can hear that from my voice. And yeah, I'm lucky that I can take a day off. Yes, and before the snow came, guys, uh, I asked Yan if we should go to the forest and enjoy the last autumn before before all the leaves turned uh, color so before the snow came a week before we had gone to the forest um, and we enjoyed the forest we actually didn't know that the snowstorm was uh, right on the corner uh, arriving here <coughs> but yes um, i'm home and sick and uh, the thing the good thing of being here in denmark you can take a day off without any problem and yeah, here yeah, it's me trying to be like those Instagrammers. <laughs> you know, in autumn, they're always making these videos, throwing the leaves up. You know, it always looks very nice. Yeah. And uh, I saw this thing here and Jan told me it's um, for the hunters, you know. So here in Denmark, when they're hunting, they climb up on the thing. You can see a lot of things, these ones in the in the forest when you're walking you see a lot of them so this is they go in there up there and they sit up there and i guess they they hunt from up there i could not go all the way up there because it was so slimy and uh yeah slippery i was afraid to fall but i think i've climbed climbed this one before in our walk yeah back in my country it's very different i don't think uh, this is very luxury i think back in my country they just lay down on the grass or yeah so this is how they hunt in Denmark and uh, here we found the, a lot of, um, of these uh, uh, what do you call them they had cut the trees and this one they were laying down and uh, yeah I think they're gonna come a car probably and collect them and they're going to sell them we use these ones for decoration like fresh I know my friend from America say they use sometimes plastic but we use fresh but we are not allowed to take this home <laughs> we're not to, allowed to pick things from this forest and here there is sphagnum moss I know a lot of plant people use sphagnum moss free here but we are not allowed to pick it actually you're supposed to buy it in the shops and a lot of these, uh, I don't know, are they called mushrooms? Wild mushrooms? I think, uh, yeah, you're not, uh, unless you know much about mushrooms, you should pick picking them out here because a lot of them are poisonous. These were the Chinese family who got, um, who, who passed away because they, they, they picked these uh, wild mushrooms, they took them home and they cooked them and yeah, and they, they, they got poisoned actually. So I don't even think I should be touching this. Uh, but some people, they, they here in Denmark, they have books. They go with their books and they know exactly what they're doing. If you know exactly what you're doing, you're going to find really, really good mushrooms if you are into that. I really, really love uh, the sound of water, the flowing water here in the forest. There are a few places where I walk and, oh, I love the sound of uh, the water, you know. Um, I love being in the nature and uh, because here in Denmark, especially in the winter time, we are so much inside. So this sound just brings me so much joy. So this was the, I think, a uh, week exactly after we had been out in the forest. The snow came and the day after there came more snow. You see all of my plants, they're almost buried in the snow. And uh, yeah, I have to go outside. I hate going outside when it's... I, I do go outside, but I hate doing chores like this. Uh, going outside, I'm supposed to go out with the trash. Can't have the trash staying in the house. So I have to go outside and uh, I had to put on my gumboots. Like there was so much snow and it was cold and it was snowing. Yeah, it's just I have not seen so much snow like this in Denmark for such a long time. And normally this might even disappear. We would like to have a, a white Christmas, but don't don't be surprised when the Christmas comes and then uh, this the whole of this snow has already disappeared. So, and uh, guys, I you know if you know me, you know how I love plants. So I decided to go to collect snow. Jan told me, why don't you collect snow for your plants? Because I hate using tap water for my plants. So I went and collected snow. <laughs> and then I have to warm it up. 
I just thought as soon as I put it in in the hot pan, they will, it will smell. No, it just took so much time. It was too much work, you know. But what I don't do for my baby plants or all my plants, I hate giving them tap water. So I put it here and uh, had it boil. And then after boiling, I had to put it in these uh, jerry cans. Uh, Jan got, found me this jerry can, so I had to put the water in there. So I have like two jerry cans of this. And yeah, I had got my Christmas decorations out. As you can see, I'm mostly to silver and black. So I just put everything here and try to get ready to decorate. I don't do a lot of uh, colors in, in this house. Yeah, and we got this IKEA i carry all what is it called bookcase i don't know what it's called so i want to put all my plants here because you know sometimes when you have so many plants they can clutter the house you know you like you look everywhere there's plants you know it just becomes so disorganized so messy and uh, it doesn't give that calm feeling you want i see like even on youtube you can see people have so many plants and it just looks like you know so i got this one i might even get one more so i can collect at least the small plants I can collect them and have them all in one in one place. It also makes it easier for me to water the plants when they're like in one place. But mostly like Jan stays here. He he and Jan is an organized person. So I, I would like for the plants to be here but not like make the house look so disorganized. So I was done and then I put on these uh, few lights. Uh, you know, I just this uh, light chains. I think I don't know chains with lights on. I just put them on on the glasses. I think this is a very easy way to do your Christmas decorations. And also I take I have a lot of glasses, so I take some of my my lights and I just put them in a glass vase. And for me, that's a simple, easy Christmas decoration. Because we want to go back to the forest when the snow goes and maybe pick up more decor, but this is working. Yeah. And this was like in the evening, I think maybe around uh, five. It's getting so dark right now. So this must have been around five because Jan wasn't yet back. This is how it looked, and this is how it looks like in the daytime when I, I have not turned on the lights. And guys, I don't do, I don't use grow lights because they say we have big windows. So my plants are still doing okay. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes uh, by the end of the the winter. I'll update you guys. But uh, yes, and uh, most of my plants right now are in uh, in this in this what is called lechuza pond. Yes, ninety nine percent of my plants are in lechuza pond. I love it so much and this is in the daytime when the lights uh, have turned on the lights and i think i've told you and maybe we should just leave the lights on because it's too much work to go turn off all these uh, lights when we have to go to bed uh, just to save the battery so i'm thinking we're just gonna let them burn and then we can just buy some new batteries since we are only doing this for christmas yeah <laughs> And this is the other area where I have my plants. Um, here I don't have so many plants. I have some vases and stuff like that. I still think it's a little bit uh, too much, too many things. And I'm working on that. Um, when I, uh, I see people who are minimalistic, so I don't even know how they do it. But anyway, in these vases also, I have done the same thing. I put lights in these vases I have. Um, and where do I get these vases? I, I thrift them. I get them from thrift stores. I don't buy them new so but this one was got uh, from my care the, the black one down there i got that from my care and this is how it looks like in the evening yes i'm looking forward to remove more things from there but i think it looks nice yeah and really loved it it looks like this here in the daytime without the lights are on yeah, yeah, like I said, Ian really loved it when he came back home. He appreciate the small things I do. <laughs> yeah, so sometimes I feel bad for him. I'm like, oh my goodness, all these things, yeah. But yeah, he did appreciate that. And this is how it looks here in the daytime uh, with the lights on. And like I said, I think we're going to just leave the lights on. I don't want to be bothered with turning off the lights so. or... I'm just going to be keeping them on and uh, we can just change the batteries and enjoy the Christmas decor. This vest, like I said, I got it from Ikea. 
and uh, the rest I think uh, yeah and this one also I, we got it from new but most of the other vases they're all from used and you see I just drop the the light chains in there and yeah and that's it sometimes you don't have to do much um, yeah so I hope you get inspired by this and I hope you enjoy the video guys and uh, when I get better I might do a whole video of how we did the Christmas decor thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos like this Mwah. bye